Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we're going to be doing another YouTube video. We're going to be taking a bunch of vegetable waste. I already dumped some into this bowl here. The cores of peppers, uh, cauliflower, carrot peelings, onion peelings. Basically anything that you wouldn't use in your day-to-day -day cooking that tends to get thrown out way too much. What we do here is we put it into Ziploc bags and put it into our freezer over here. You can't see the freezer, but the fridge and freezer is just off to the side. And we take all this back and let it build up for a little while so we have enough. Take a big batch of vegetable broth. As you can see, we have quite a bit. So just give you a look at that in this big stainless steel bowl. That's all stuff that most people just throw in the garbage, or some people do the composting. And we've got a 12 liter stock pot here. 12, 12 quart, sorry, 12 quart, which is just about 10 liters. And we're going to drop that down with our thing. And we're going to dump all that great nutritious vegetables into the stock pot. Drop a couple pieces here. Run some water in it, fill it up close to the top. After that, it goes on the stove on high, and we're going to bring that to a boil, then turn it down, let it simmer. I let it simmer most all day today, and turn it off before I go to bed tonight. And tomorrow morning, I'll do some more video on this. And put it in when we're back. Our pot is just about full. Grabbing a stainless steel spoon here, just going to mix things up a little bit, break up the frozen parts. That should do it. Now yeah, we've got this big stock pot filled up to about here with water. Lots and lots of vegetables in here peppers, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, onion peels, all kinds of good nutritious stuff. And what we're going to do with it, we're going to, as I said earlier, put it on the stove, put it up on high, put the lid on it. Bring that to a boil and turn it down to simmer for the rest of the day. Uh, before I go to bed tonight, I'll turn it off, just leave it sitting on the stove tomorrow morning. Uh, I'll take a look at it and then uh, we're going to strain it, get rid of the vegetable chunks. I have nothing left but vegetable broth and we're going to can that up into mason jars. Freeze it up. I'll keep some in the fridge for use this week, but this stuff is so good making soups. It just packs in so much more nutrients and flavor. It's just delicious. We started doing this probably three or four years ago and do a batch probably once a month roughly. Just love it. It's really delicious, tasty, nutritious, and it's free. You gotta love it. Hey everyone, I'm back. So here's the pot of uh, vegetable broth I put on yesterday. You saw me doing that. That was the first part of this video. Uh, I let it simmer for quite a while, maybe 10 or 12 hours, and just turned it off overnight. It's still a little bit warm. But here we go. So what we have to do is take off the lid, obviously. We'll put that over, way over here. That's a large stainless steel bowl. A smaller one and a colander all stainless steel. What we're going to do is put the colander into the large bowl, drain it off. It's going to take two runs to do this, I know from doing this before. Let the broth run out, pour the vegetables into the other one, and then we'll finish up the rest of the pot. most of it. These are all vegetable cups that would have been otherwise discarded or compost, which is the other option. I want to get into that for next year. I'm well, just letting this drain off. All this broth that we have just loaded with nutrients from the vegetables. So rather than just throw them out, we may as well get those nutrients out. And I'll be using this for making soups 
and it just changes the taste and not to mention adding so much in, in nutrients. There's hardly any broth left in here, it's mostly just vegetable off cuts, but we'll get the rest of it. That's it for that. Get this out of the way. Wash that out after we're finished. And I think you want to watch me doing dishes. Let we'll her drain off real good. Get all that delicious vegetable broth. You can also do this using chicken carcasses, turkeys, whatever you want, making uh, meat broth, chicken broth, beef broth. Okay, we started doing this, I think it was three, maybe four years ago. Put it on the batch every month or so, sometimes every couple of months. Yeah, that's good. Put this over by the sink as well. Wash that out after. And this all finished up and cleaned up before Diane gets home, of course. She likes a clean kitchen. Yeah, we've got all this veggie broth. I'm going to pause for a moment. I want to take a couple of photos and then we're going to finish this up. I'll be right back. So my stainless steel colander, my 12 quart stainless steel stock pot, the smaller bowl with the vegetable off cuts, scraps, uh, some mason jars ready to fill up, and a big bowl of broth. Okay, I'm back. Just wanted to add a few still photos to I put into the video when I do the editing after we finish up here. Getting our mason jars ready. To see if you can then fill these up, put the lid on loosely, and then put them in the freezer. Sorry while I disappeared out of the view here. I just had to go get my label. And now we just start filling up all these jars. I'm going to leave a little bit of room at the top called head space. Prevents the jars from cracking. This even smells delicious. Jar. So we're going to the last jar here now, just to get finished up. I actually had to run downstairs and get a couple more mason jars. I hadn't bought up enough. barely on right now because this is still slightly warm. It's not very warm. I don't want any expansion in there right now. I'm going to let it cool down completely to room temperature, another two or three hours, and then I have eight jars, eight one liter jars. Six of these are going to go downstairs into our deep freeze. They'll be good for up to a year. The other two I'm going to put in the fridge and I'll use those over the next week or so and a couple of little soups I'll make up for myself. Anyways, that's how we do it. That's vegetable broth, and it's essentially free. And if we were composting, then the vegetables that are still left over, nutrients are taken out mostly, we could still use that for composting, so we could actually use that a third time. So that's what I will be doing in the future. So there you have it, vegetable broth, free, easy to do, delicious, and just full of nutrients. There you go, talk to you again soon. If you like this sort of stuff, Click the like button below, leave some positive comments, and above all, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. 
and we'll be back soon with some more videos. Thanks for watching.